So here at the University of Bath, I'm researching the link between phytoplankton and how turbulent a water environment is. Now, we're used to kind of thinking of turbulence as being, for a human, it's like stormy, or when we're in an aeroplane and we're being moved up and down or something like that. But when you're a plankton, a tiny little thing floating around in the water, that turbulence can have a profound impact on the kind of conditions that you're exposed to. Now, the other weird thing about plankton is they come in all kinds of sizes and shapes. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to figure out that actually the shape of plankton affects how well they do in different types of turbulent environments. So I've been going over to Sweden, to the University of Umeå, which is right at the top. It's the northernmost city in Sweden. They've got these massive mesocosms, which are basically giant five meter high tanks. Each one holds about two tons of water. And within that, I can set up and tweak the environment exactly how I want it. So I filled it up with a natural phytoplankton population from offshore and in the different tanks, I've set up different turbulent environments. Some are nice and calm, some are quite mixed, and I'm looking at how the phytoplankton respond to these different environments. So it's quite cool, so as well as measuring the physics of the water, I've been measuring the chemistry and also the biology. So I've been looking at the primary production and the different species, and for that I've been taking water samples at different depths and using this really cool machine called a flow cam. So I can get my plankton sample, pour it in the top, and every time a plankton cell cuts a laser, it takes a photograph. And so within 10 minutes, I can photograph over 6,000 individual plankton cells. I can record a digital image of each one of those, and I can analyze those with 30 different statistics for each cell, which is pretty awesome. If I was doing it manually, I'd be able to count maybe 300 cells in an hour and a half. So using this awesome piece of kit, I've been able to photograph over 400,000 plankton cells, which has given me quite a lot of data to look at.